What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jer SD here. Um, and we are back. Uh, I know that IBL season six just ended. Uh, the finals video should have been up for this. Um, obviously, if you haven't seen that, go check it out. We were in IBL season six uh, season finals um, against my boy Woodsy. Um, I'll give you five seconds to click away and watch this video before I spoil. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Spoiled. I lost. Terribly. So, what's new? Uh, yeah. Um, so that'll be linked in the description. And this video is going over IBL Season 7 Draft. Um, so, IBL, I would consider it a main league. Uh, it is the one that I partially, well, kind of, uh, there's three mods, I am one of them, I own the server, um, so you could say it's my league, um, I don't think it's really my league, like, sometimes I'm like, oh yeah, it's my league, I can ban you, but like, no, it's a, it's a, <clears throat> it's a community league, and these guys have been, uh, with the IBL basically since, season two um i've been it in it since season one um, but most of the 18 coaches have been in it for at least three or four seasons so we're pretty close uh a really tight server um and it's just a fun league um, but the interesting thing for us this season is that we moved from a tier-based draft system to a points-based draft system uh, which kind of everybody agreed is is probably the better way to move uh, uh, to move on basically um, because tier drafts are kind of not as good as they were um, and points based uh, make it easier for lots of different mods to get used and stuff like that so <sighs> we are kind of wacky uh, as it comes to letting things slide um, so this draft league, as with all the Gen 8 uh, seasons so far, uh, Mega Alakazam with Nasty Plot is allowed, the Mega Lotties are allowed, Mega Blastoise with Shell Smash is allowed, um, Libero Cinderace is allowed, uh, yeah, basically everything is allowed. Mega Ball Wild, Mega Kangaskhan, um, basically anything that isn't completely broken. Mega Salamence, Deoxys's, well there's actually Deoxys Defense, but you know, like Ubers basically. Um, one thing we did ban uh, was my first pick. So <laughs> uh, I had 12th out of 18 coaches, which is absolutely dog shit. Um, yeah, so bad, uh, bad draft spot uh, for me to start off with. Um, but we went ahead and we picked L. We can we picked Kiram Black, which um, so the thing about Kiram Black is it got Dragon Dance here in the uh, Gen Eight. By the way, top amount of points possible. So yeah, Dragon Dance is banned, but it still got Bicycle Spear which is a physical ice-type move that is at least 50 base power, but can up to uh, it's And with that insane attack stat, obviously, good speed. It also got Scale Shot, uh, which is super cool. It's also two to five times. Basically, Icicle Spear can miss, um, but it raises your speed after the last hit. So if you hit at least once, you get a speed boost, which is super cool uh, yeah so 17 points uh there was 115 points available uh, for each coach um and uh and so with me being 12th out of 18 i was closer to the end obviously so i get two picks pretty well close to each other and i picked up another 17 point mon mega diancy I thought this was really good, uh, really good, not value, but, you know, 
19 is kind of cheap. I thought it would have been 19 or something like that. Um, but in Gen 8, Mega DNC got a huge buff. It got Mystical Fire and it got access to Play Rough. Uh, so physical sets with Diamond Storm are viable. Of course, it still has the same old Diancy sets uh, with Rock Polish and Calm Mind and Diamond Storm and Explosion. Obviously, Moonblast is still super powerful off 160. Uh, so basically, to start the draft, I got two super hard-hitting Pokemon uh, that cover each other's weaknesses pretty well. Obviously, Dragon Fairy. <coughs> Diancy is a rocker. I'm not going to be running rocks on it very often, but you know. Uh, so with my next pick, uh, I grabbed Slowbro, which was... 14 points. Um, since Gen 8 came out, I've been wanting to use Slowbro in draft. Teleport, it is good with heavy duty boots. You can avoid the top Spikes chip. Uh, obviously, it's a great mod before that, but I think with Teleport being buffed and items and stuff like that, it got better. And it's just a defensive mon so it was 14 points a little bit expensive but it's a good mon so defensive kind of backbone here of the team and we kind of added to that backbone uh, a 10 point i believe just check yes 10 point registeel um obviously i thought the pairing of slowbro Weak to electric, it is weak to grass, it is weak to dark, it is weak to uh, it is dry, it is weak to ghost. Um, the red steel, which is pure steel, obviously weak to ground, weak to fire, and weak to fighting. They really play off each other really nicely. Um, kind of passive, both of them, um, in a defensive sense, but. I think the overall resistances uh, of Steelix, or Steelix, Registeel, helps with uh, the weaknesses of Slowbro and vice versa uh, with Slowbro to Registeel, obviously resisting fire, resisting uh, the fighting, etc, etc, and that completes my Fairy Dragon Steel core, um, and I thought 10 points was a good deal um, for Registeel. Now, talking about points and uh, I thought this was a little bit of expensive pick, um, but I really liked it now. Poltergeist, and that is Decidueye. So Decidueye, this is my first uh, hazard removal. It gets defog, it's pretty great defogger, um, obviously resisting rocks. Um, yeah, so Red Steel defogger, um, but it's also just a great overall mon. It has pretty well amazing stats. Uh, speed, speed's a little slow, but uh, bulk-wise, it's got great bulk. It's got both uh, sides of its attack points are both great. It gets knockoff. Uh, it gets poltergeist now. It gets U-turn. Uh, it gets uh, haze, which is cool. It gets roost, obviously reliable recovery. It's swords dance. Uh, it gets tailwind. Uh, yeah, so just a fun mon. I really like Decidueye as a Pokemon. Uh, super versatile, and I think it's going to be very good in this draft. Uh, after that, I picked up another Defogger, and that was Crobat. Uh, and Crobat was also 12 points. I thought Crobat was a better value. I think it's probably the better. Uh, but it's another Defogger. It's another bulky, uh, or can be bulky, I guess. Um, but then it's super fast, and... So with the Ansi being at 110, and then the rest of these mods kind of slower, under 100, uh, I really wanted to get a kind of top tier speed mod, and Crobat helps with that. With Boots, it's pretty good uh, as a defogger. It also just serves well as both physical and special attacker. It gets Nazi Plot, uh, it gets Super Fang, it gets U-Turn, obviously reliable recovery and roost. Uh, it has great coverage on the special side, not as good on the physical side. Uh, but yeah, Giga Drain, Heat Wave, uh, Air Slash, Sludge Bomb, Dark Pulse, Shadow Ball. Uh, pretty good special coverage. Uh, Bright Birds from this thing hurt a lot. 
And yeah, so the next uh, kind of six, whatever, that I grabbed, uh, my first kind of budget pick, well, not, not really budget, but you know, uh, was Crawdon, and that was at nine points. Oh, I really like I'm just in general. Um, it's one of my, the 120 base attack with the adaptability quest band or a life orb on this thing, and not many things are living knockoff. Access to Dragon Dance if I really wanted to, uh, but usually uh, you got the Aqua Jet or uh, with a pan set, or you got the Swords Dance uh, with a uh, life orb set. Um, so yeah, so Crawdon at 9 points gives me a Dark type, uh, which is super important in draft, gives me an offensive water type, though it's very slow, obviously 55 base speed. Um, it's really good versus uh, bulky Pokemon, so uh, like walls, like Steelix, or uh, like Skarmory, or like Toxapex, or uh, even Sylvia, or something like that. Uh, slow, slur slower, uh, bulky Pokemon. Uh, really don't appreciate uh, Cronaut as uh, kind of just like hard hitter bandit knockoff. Uh, we'll be doing two at KOs to a lot of those Pokemon. And yeah, so Crawdon was my seventh pick. With my sixth pick, or eighth pick, I can't count, we got the actual budget mon mod, and that is Libero Reboot. So, Reboot, uh, the 94 base speed, still decently fast. Um, it's frail, 86 base attack is not great, but it gets access to stab moves on every single move. Uh, it doesn't get Pyro Ball, and it doesn't get Court Change. Those are the only two things that Cinderace gets um, that reboot. Uh, it gets Bulk Up, it gets uh, Flare Blitz, it gets Gun Shot, it gets High Jump Kick, it gets Sucker Punch, it gets U-Turn, uh, and Acrobatics. It basically gets everything that uh, makes Cinderace so good um, in a two-point package. Um, so I thought that was super good uh, kind of, yeah, uh, value, basically. Um, so yeah, Reboot was pick number seven. At this point, uh, there was a run on me getting sniped, basically. Um, I wanted Rotom Frost and I wanted Mudsdale. They both got sniped in two straight rounds for me uh, as I was looking for an electric type and a ground type. And ground types were going very quickly. Um, and so are electric types. So, with my next pick, we grabbed, uh, I think this was six points, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, six point Electivire. Um, another powerful mod. As you can see, uh, uh, as you can see, power is quite um, relevant, prevalent, whatever on my team. Uh, you got the Kiram, you got the Crawdon, you got the Diancie. Uh, yeah, so Electivire, another Mon, like Decidueye, like Kiram, and like Dis Diancie, that can be run either physical or special. Obviously it's better on the physical side, but it can be run special as well. It gets the beautiful offensive coverage of Electric, Ice, and Ground with Stab, Electric type moves, plus Ice Punch, plus Earthquake, it also gets Fire Punch, it also gets Fighting Coverage um, in uh, Hammer Arm or Cross Chop. Uh, it gets Facade, it gets Iron Tail, and it gets Rock Slide. So, beautiful. Uh, it is a Pivoter. We now have Decidueye, Slowbro, Reboot, Electivire, and Crobat. They can all pivot around. Um, as you can see, kind of, uh, I kind of did not focus on hazards or hazard removal for this draft. Um, Kyurem is weak to rocks, but heavy duty boots exists. Um, and unless I'm running kind of like a scarf set or a leftover set, uh, probably just gonna run heavy duty boots because not taking rock chip or toxic spikes is pretty good. 
So I didn't think that hazard removal, the rest of my team was not pretty, not very weak to it, and the only other one that was weak to rocks at least is Reboot and Probat. So I didn't really care. Those two can easily run heavy duty boots. Um, and Crowback gets e Fox, so it doesn't really matter. Uh -huh. So yeah, so next pick, that was my electric type. Next pick, I went with, well, I d had decided on, well, let's do this first. It was out of order, but my two next picks were Hippopotas and Lycan Run. A form, or whatever. This Lycan Rock was worth nine points, I think. It was eight. Let me just double check, let me just double check. Uh, yeah, Eichenrock was 9 points, and Hippopotamus was 2 points. Uh, so a little sand core here. Obviously I picked Eichenrock first. Um, it is fast, it is 112, so that's faster than Diancy. Um, and it is slower than Crobat, obviously, which gives me an in-between kind of speed tier. <laughs> Not by much, but, you know. The outspeeding 110s is nice. Uh, it gets sand rush. That's basically uh, what ability it's going to have. Um, it has pretty high attack at 115. It gets taunt. It gets stealth rock. It is a reliable rocker, pretty much. Um, it gets close combat now. Um, play rough. Psychic fangs. So many um, coverage moves. And it gets swords dance and a priority in a cell rock. So, uh, I kind of decided that I was going to go less points on my ground type because my Mudsdale got sniped and my Claydol got sniped. Uh, I had, I think, three, oh, and I, before even Mudsdale, I was going to get Sandslash and because it got spikes this generation. Um, and Sandslash got sm sniped in like round five. So I was pretty sad about that. Hippopotas obviously puts up the sand. With Eviolite, it is pretty fat, that 78 defense. Just like it's big papa, uh, hippo, out on whatever. Um, and then finally, the final pick of the draft, I decided that I would like another option for removal. Right now, I had defog on Crobat and defog on Decidua, and then Magic Bounce with Diancy. Um, so my second kind of, or my third, I guess, reliable hazard removal. Um, and I wanted a normal type, and I got Komala for three points. And that, uh, so I drafted this thing without realizing that it lost its best stab move. Well, I knew their return was not in the game, but I figured it would have Body Slam or Double Edge or some other good normal type move. Uh, that I can run on a normal set stab, stab move. But as you're looking, as I'm looking, as I'm going to build for week one, its best normal type move is Thrash. Um, Last Resort is there, and Facade. So Facade is its best normal type move, which kind of sucks. But um, it has insane coverage. It gets Wish Protect. It gets Rapid Spin, which is why I got it. It's knockoff. Um, and then, obviously, with the comatose ability, um, you can't get status, the status absorber. Um, and yeah, so rapid spin, it's pretty slow, but it's got great uh, bulk. Well, not great bulk, but decent bulk. Um, and then a solid attack stat. Well, um, it can be run with assault vest. It can be run with the heavy duty boots with rapid spin, or it can just be run as like a choice bandit set or choice scarf set uh, to catch people off guard and that was three points so now that you see my team i can reveal the dock um, so yeah kind of same as as last season <sighs> yeah so seattle pidgeots coming into season seven looking to go back to finals um i basically just drafted what i wanted to use basically um, you can see with Decidueye, you can see with Crawdon, you can see with Kyurem and Slowbro uh, that there's a little bit of a of a plan. There was a little bit of a plan, at least. I got my fire, my water, my grass, 
core. I got my fairy, my steel, and my dragon core. Um, I got my dark, psychic, and ghost core. Uh, if that's even a thing. I got a ground type. Um, I got good rockers in Registeel and Lycanroc. When I need it, Hippopotas as well. I got Rapid Spin in Komala. I got Defog in Decidueye and Crobat. Uh, and basically, this team is here to hit hard on many different fronts. Um, yeah, so Curum Black. I wanted to use it. Um, I changed my background here on sports uh, back to. Uh, but yeah, back to the Kieran Black background, which I had back in the day. Um, and yeah, so I'm super excited for the season. Um, we play Lily in week one. That is scheduled for Sunday. Probably this goes up after the battle because I just spoiled the team in Speed Team Builder. Um, yeah, super excited. We expanded to 18 teams this season, and that should be fun. Yeah, so week or finals game should be up before this. I'm going to record this right now. And I hope to see you all as we get into season seven here. Um, so yeah, drop the video a like, drop it a comment thinking or telling me what you think, excuse me, about my draft. Uh, I'm super excited. I hope you are too. I'm rambling. Goodbye, Jaris D out of here. Bye-bye.